What's going on? This is Game with Ski, and today I'm making a quick video on the Menagerie. And what is the Menagerie? Well, it's where you store all your beasts that you capture in, when you're going through the campaign around Act 2. You encounter Einhar and you slay. He helps you slay captured beasts. When you get the beast to no more life left, he will throw a net and then capture the beast. And it goes into this area that's called the Menagerie. How do you access the Menagerie? Well, you just go to a waypoint and... On the right side here, you have all these other side areas. You click to travel to your menagerie. But later you can go into your atlas here and you can spec into maps that contain Einhorn. The most important thing you need to remember about <clears throat> doing Einhorn or specking into Einhorn is that he can only capture 1,000 beasts. After a total of 1,000 beasts have been captured, all new beasts that you capture are... They replace random beasts. So you have to be very careful and you have to empty it out often. To fight your beast, you just go over here to the blood altar and you click on it. And your these recipes come up. I have did it quite a bit. And then... You click on whatever recipe it does. Now you can scroll down and see all your different recipes. You can add mods to utility flasks. You can open a portal. You can convert unique items into other unique items. That's interesting. And you can split an item. This is probably one of the best ones here is splitting an item you can add mods to rare maps and then the big one is creating an imprint of a magic item and here's some good ones create a level 21 corrupted gem uh, that's pretty good too uh, we're gonna try that out click on the blood altar find the recipe that you want to do level 21 corrupted gem you click on this and click craft. And you have to fight the monsters again, which is pretty easy. All right, we got an anger. That's not bad. Go again. Level 21 corrupted gem. Let's do it. Despair. What else do you can you do? Well, you can trade as well. So if you want to trade your beasts that you find, this is what a lot of people do. You click on Einhorn, purchase items, and you want to purchase your bestiary orb. Put that in your inventory. Now, if you want to trade something specific, you go to the blood altar. And you find something that you want to trade. Now, a good item to trade would be create an imprint of a magic item. So we click on it. Or... So this is the hard part, okay? So it's kind of hard to find. So if we right click this and then left click create an imprint of a magic item. It doesn't work like that. You have to... Highlight over this and find it. Oh, you have to go to Captured Beasts. So you click Captured Beasts. And you have to find it. You have to scroll all the way down. There's no good way to click on it from your recipe list. And I just figured out a slightly quicker way to find it. Uh, there's little filter beasts here at the bottom. You can actually just type in Break Kick Chimeral. And then I can use this and 
create a copy of that so I can sell it. We're about a month in the Settlers League, a little over a month in and about a month and a week, probably a month and two or three weeks by the time I post this video. But this is how much those feminine Minimal plague arachnids are going for. It looks like seven or eight chaos. But what is the Krakic Chimeral going for? Um, this creates an imprint of a magic item. It's used for crafting. And after all the playtime that I had doing Einharn, I've only found one of these. What is it going for? Well, let's check it out on POE Trade. And it's going for roughly a divine orb, it looks like. What is this Sockwall's Roost? Open a portal to Sockwall's Roost. That is just an endgame boss fight where you can get a chance to drop a specific set of unique items. So Sockwall's Roost, uh, you fight this guy, Sockwall, first of the sky. And... It unlocks Aspect of the Avian Beast Crafting, which is an aura that reserves a percentage of your mana, which isn't the best. And it drops, he drops one of these unique items. Going back to the Atlas and why I don't recommend specking into Einharn is because you don't get very much. I I mean, I did get that one beast, but I must have gotten lucky on that beast because that beast that was like a divine, those only drop on level 14 plus maps. So I guess maybe it's good to spec into it on level 14 plus maps. But the problem is, is you get all those other beasts and a lot of people skip the beasts. But the problem is when you're skipping those beasts, What's happening is you're not getting the items that drop and these beasts have a lot of HP. So even although you're doing over a million DPS, it still takes quite a while. You need like 10 million DPS per single target to effectively quickly fight these Einharn beasts. Even if you completely spec into Einharn where he does more damage, it's just not... In my opinion, it's not worth it. And now I'm going to be just fighting the beasts. Getting it done. Uh, clearing out my menagerie. Oh, that's what happened. That's what happened. So I had this. That's supposed to be Veil Haste. Oh, pick that out. A lot of these unique items are not selling for anything. This league. Oh, there's another guy hiding down here. 